Hi, everybody. This is Lisa Monison, Independent Sales Rep and Executive Unit Leader with the Avon Team Moneymakers. Today, I wanted to talk to you about this little guy, Curly the Bear. He is our newest fundraiser with Avon. He's absolutely adorable. Look how big he is. If I could bring him back a little bit so you can see how great he is. He's a great size bear. And I wanted today to show you how fundraising with Avon and using this bear is going to not only generate you some great award sales but you're going to help a good cause and you're also going to make some great money and the cause will as well. So uh, let's talk about showing you the money with this Curly the Bear. So I'm going to set him down so we can talk. Um, I'm going to sit over here on the side. Okay. Um, I had done some figures with my team to just explain to them how the fundraising works with Avon. The first thing you need to do, of course, is contact people that are looking to raise money. Maybe it's baseball teams, churches, um, private fundraising for the Cancer Society or maybe a, a breast cancer local uh, charity for somebody. There's all kinds of different things that um, people need money for. So think of your local charities and then you want to go ahead and talk to them about doing a fundraiser with you. Now, if you've never done a fundraiser before, you want to go to youravon.com, click on the fundraising tab, and you have everything you, you need there, including a starter pack that you can order for $7 that gives you everything you need. But right there on the site, there's everything from an intro letter um, that you would bring to your fundraiser all the way to the you know the ending closing thank you letter. So there's everything you need right there at the fundraising tab. Also, in order to order him, you would need to put him in um, on your order. And the product number for him, I will put that on my screen here uh, for you to look down at. And you have to use the fundraising number as well, which I'll also put down on the screen here, um, in order to get him for $10. He retails for $19.99. Uh, you get to receive him at 50% off, therefore, for your fundraiser. Um, you know, if you choose to give a high amount, you could give $20, $30. 40%, keep back at least 10% for yourself. Um, now the way that I am doing this with my team is I am showing them how uh, to make some great extra holiday cash for themselves and be able to give back. So here was our great idea. Let's just say that you went to a school for fundraising with Curly and you brought him in and you did your little presentation and you explained to them, you know, asked them how many kids were in the school, how much money would they like to raise? Let's just use a figure of 18 classrooms times 30 children, okay? If you have 18 classrooms times 30 children and every child sells just one, just one of these bears, you would sell 540 bears, okay? Now that's give and take that some kids are gonna sell five and 10 bears and some kids won't sell any bears at all. So we did a very low figure, 540 bears. Guess what your award sales are on that figure? 10,800, okay? Right there, your PC club already. So it's very simple. Now, if there's 30 kids in a classroom and each child sells just one bear, that would be a commission of $150 per classroom to the school, okay? Um, you would also earn $150 per classroom for yourself. And the bears get donated also to a cause. So the charitable event, there's three ways to win. You're going to earn money and get award sales. Your charity or your school or whatever function you have, could be a sports team, is going to earn the money that they need. And these great bears can be donated in the sports team's name. And we figured that if you had $150 commission earned per classroom times 18, that would be $2,700 for the school and $2,700 in your pocket. So basically the way we figured it out is Avon is due 50% of the proceeds. So if the bear is $20, Avon needs to, of course, receive 10 of that for every single bear sold. If you split the commission part 50-50, which basically gives them 25% and you 25%, um, then you're earning $5 for every bear sold and your function uh, and charity is going to also earn five dollars for every single bear sold. So you would figure out the money math for them and the money math for yourself and see the big picture of this. Now um, again twenty seven hundred dollars is nothing to scoff at for them and for you and that's if you were deciding to go ahead and do at twenty five percent and twenty five percent. Now another great idea I have with him is 
why not contact your local newspapers, uh, the local news crew, and let your cause or sports team or church or whatever it is that you're doing know that you're also going to get some publicity for them. Um, you would go to your local news and paper and say, look, we're doing a charitable event, raising money for the children's hospital um, or for the church, and then the children's hospital is going to receive these bears in the name of um, St. Joseph's Church or in the name of you know, the Suns baseball team or whatever it happens to be. And then schedule the time that you guys are going to go drop off the 540 bears um, with, you know, select people of the sports team. And once you're there, I mean, you have the news crew there, you have the newspaper there taking your picture. Uh, local Avon lady, Sally Sue, uh, helps support the Children's Hospital, uh, partnering with the XYZ Corporation uh, for a great cause. So money is earned. A cause you donating these bears to a great cause of your choice um, like I said children's hospitals you can think of retirement homes um, the local police departments the homeless shelters for Christmas they need to have um, extra gifts for the children there's all kinds of great things that you can do with curly the bear um, as far as who you're going to donate him to the fundraiser is so simple because there's no Really, you're asking people for a $20 donation. The bear is going to be donated in their name. You can have gift tags. When people pay their $20 to donate the bear and help the cause, you can have little gift tags at your table if you're doing a table or if you have people going you know, door to door, like children going door to door. Um, they can hand the people a gift tag and say, please fill out this gift tag with a, uh, just a short message. Um, you know, in your in your name, and the bear would be tagged. You could put a little gift tag on each bear, and that way, when you deliver them to the hospital or to wherever you're choosing to donate them, each child that gets a bear, um, or each recipient of the bear, is going to have a little personal tag on it that says "Happy Holidays" or um, you know, "You were thought of this this holiday season" or whatever it happens to be. So. Um, these are just some great ideas I have with Curly. I see that uh, there's a lot of money potential, a lot of award sales, and a lot of good you can do with this little bear. Uh, again, check the fundraising tab. There are the flyers there that you can order or download. There are two uh, two page C, uh, flyer. The back side has where you know all the people would fill out um, you know how many they would like to order. And again, you're not unless they choose to have a bear for themselves you're not bringing the product back to them. You're collecting the $20 donations and these bears are going to be donated when you place your order for how many ever bears you need. You're going to go ahead and donate the bears to a great cause and the school or baseball team or whatever you're doing is going to earn uh, $5 for every bear. So again, if you use the 18 classrooms times 30 kids at one bear each, that's 540 bears, ends up being $2,700 to you, $2,700 to the cause, and you're going to go ahead and get $10,800 in award sales at that figure. So do the math, a lot of money, a lot of great things, and I hope that you'll pick up a fundraiser this holiday season. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel, and you guys have a great day. We want the world to know.